Hey everybody, welcome. Um, today we are talking about the Fishtech HD chart for Rigglesway Dam, which is down in Stutterheim. And remember, what I always tell everyone is when you get started, always use your Navionics first. It's just so that you know where you are and you can find it and you can see the little towns and whatnot. Sometimes it's quite difficult to find the actual dams. So I've uh, pre-located the spot, so then you zoom into it. It's just outside of Stutterheim. I think let's start off with the sediment. Um, this is obviously uh, data, you know, from the old paper charts that was done by the government, Department of Water Affairs. And um, I've sort of zooted it up a little bit. I've um, put a satellite in the background. I've highlighted the main channels. Uh, I've highlighted some rocky areas. So uh, from, and, and then of course these red marks is uh, old buildings, you know, all man-made stuff is done in red. So there's, there's quite a bit of um, uh, interesting little goodies here and there, uh, the, the old dam wall there and whatnot. Uh, so the dip tanks and things like, like that. There, there's quite a bit of nice information on, on the sediment. So, so never forget about the old uh, uh, sediment chart. Next, let's have a look at the, um, um, we're going to use this pool nine foot down. Pool three foot down and pool nine foot down. What that means is, um, that's when I was there. Um, and, I, and I did the scan on the dam. The first time I went there, the dam was only down by about a meter. The second time I went back, it was uh, down by three meters, which is nine feet. Um, so what I've done is I've taken those contours and all that data and I've basically just put it uh, on top of the satellite, which is quite a nice satellite um, with it being so so low. Um, you can see quite a bit here. But if you look at it to, to see how low did this dam actually go, it went down 36 feet. That's a lot, you know. That's 12 meters that the dam went, went down. But um, uh, while we're here, what, what's also nice about that is you can see all the timber out here in, near, near the channel, you know, on the side here. But that's a, lot, that's a little bit deep for a lot of people. You won't find a lot of people targeting that. But I want to show you what else is also quite nice. Um, if we go to the Aerial HD, because here, let's go into the spot here. Let's see, what is this here? Okay. It's kind of hard to see what that is. So let's go to Aerial HD. We flick to Aerial HD. This is this is what was done with, with the drone. And aha, uh -huh. okay, now we can see what's going on. This is clearly a fence line. See that there? That's a fence line. You've got some timber there. Um, let's see if we can get some sort of 3D action on that yard. You can see that timber's there. That's quite a, a, a tall uh, a bush there. So if you want to see what the taller bushes are and the shorter bushes, you always use this uh, this elevation. The same applies to, to rocks. If you see a bunch of rocks lying around, you want to look for the biggest rock, the tallest rock in that area. There you use your, your elevation. But let's go back to our aerial HD. And uh, ah, we've, we've got some photos here. Let's zoom in there. We want to see what that looks like on the shore. There we go. Okay. There's that fence line that we were talking about. There's a post in the water. That's a little bit scary seeing that one in the water there. And in the background, you can see that big piece of, of timber there that would be visible. Um, now, when the youngsters were, were there, I think it was this last week, um, I think the dam was pretty close to 100%. So, um, yeah, the, you know, there's a lot of things that they would have seen and what they wouldn't have, have seen. Um, when I was there, I also did a mosaic, a side scan. This is where the first time I went when it was only three feet down or one meter down. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a ridge there. What's so nice about the side scan is, is the shadows. So you can sort of get like a 3 d sort of perspective. So if we go back to our satellite, because we don't have an aerial HD of, of it being so low. Um, yeah, you can you, you can see it there, which is actually quite nice. Um, guys, uh, the photographs, this three feet down means the photographs that you see all along the edge here, these were taken when the dam was only three feet down. As you can see, they're very close to the edge. There you can zoom in, Let's see if we can zoom in some more. You can see there's that uh, post, you can see it's only about a meter down 
but it's quite interesting. Be careful of uh, timber like this lying on the floor because you never know who's come along and grabbed it and made a fire with it or something or moved it or whatnot. So it's always nice to uh, roll on, on to something like that and just double check that it's still there. So just be careful of that type of thing. Um, so yeah, so pull three feet down means all the photographs uh, along the shore, those are all when, when the dam was uh, only three feet down. And then if you go to pool nine feet down, these photographs in turn are when the dam was nine feet down. So you can see a nice little transition there between clay and rock. A really nice little section to, to target there on that transition area. Um, unfortunately, the, the side scan back in the days when I did this, this was all manually driven by, by me, the, the human. And as you can see, it's, 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 it's never pretty. It's never pretty. I mean, it's just impossible for a human to, to drive like a machine does, like my autonomous craft. So you're just going to have to give uh, me some uh, slack there. But, um, yeah, guys, that's our um, Riggles Wave chart. And I'm pretty sure, you know, the amount of information that you can get from this months before a tournament. And I really hope that those kids sat at home and studied their, their, their charts. You know, especially the kids that, that don't live down in the Eastern Cape. Because there's so much work you can actually do. Um, uh, you know, just studying these, 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 these charts. And uh, let's just have a look before I go. Anything interesting? Yeah, you see, this type of information is fantastic. And I mean, the, the aerial HD is so clear. I mean, look at this. This is really awesome. I mean, it would take you months, months and months and months to learn all of this stuff. If you went there at full pool and tried to start to study, uh, you know, get to know the actual dam. Whereas um, uh, if you had these charts at, at home, and you had all these photographs to, to, to view. And there's thousands of them. I think there's like 2,000 photographs or something uh, for, uh, for, for Riggles Way Dam. You can really, really get to a good handle on, on what you're going to target when you pitch up there for tournament day. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's our Riggles Way chart. Um, and, uh, guys, if you're looking for this chart, please give Colleen a call. Uh, you can go to www.fishtech.co.za and click on contact. And you can get hold of me for technical advice, or you can get hold of Colleen for sales. And she will uh, send you your invoice, and she'll ship that thing off to you very, very quickly. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. And uh, maybe we can go back sometime and go and uh, do some side scan mo mosaics properly <laughs> down at, at Regal's Wade now that it's full. Anyway, guys, thank you.